Ah, Mr. Fat Skinny, Mr. Snakey. Ah, yo, I am convinced. Yo, I'm convinced. Somebody needs to pull up his uh his uh court papers or something. I'm convinced that I don't know, man. This is this is just my opinion, but. From his actions on the internet and his actions on in, in real life, Mr. Skinny talks a lot. He provides a lot of information. He self-incriminates himself all the time. He tells everybody's business. I'm convinced. Yo, I, he did seven, no, 11 years in jail. I wonder if he had more sentence, like if he had like probably like a 30 year sentence and, you know, he might have, he might have, you know, said a little something, something to reduce that sentence. Because the way that Mr. Skinny is behaving on the Internet and in real life, he talks a lot. So I don't know. So somebody needs to do some research on his uh, criminal record and see if he informed the informant on any criminal activities that he might have did in the past. Because the, the way that you're moving out here in the free world makes me believe you might have been a snake in prison I'm just I'm just allegedly you know this is all alleged this is just my thoughts but if you pay attention to Mr. Skinny behavior you would have never thought that Mr. Skinny been to jail right the way that he conduct himself the way that he talks the way that he just is willing to give out information like you would never think Mr. Skinny went to jail if he never told you because because you'd be like yo people that people that come out of jail normally don't act like that you know it's just something something something's I, I, I think we need to do a little digging on your um on your background in jail because something something ain't right and I say that to say this Mr. Skinny, once again, he just he just loves talking. He loves telling you what he's going to do. So allegedly, you know, this is the words from Mr. Skinny TV. You, YouTube, YouTube. This is the words out of Mr. Skinny. It sounds like he's threatening Kwame Brown. Mr. Skinny, are you threatening Kwame Brown that you sent some goons on him? Because it sounds like you were in contact with some people and you're trying to bring harm onto Kwame Brown? What is this all about, Mr. Skinny TV? Why are you saying violent things on the internet? Why are you wishing violent things to happen to Kwame Brown on the internet? But you talk about in real life, though. In real life, though. Kwame Brown. I got some DMs in real life, though. Mr. Skinny just said he got some DMs in real life. Uh, word to the wise, whoever is sending Mr. Skinny these DMs, you might want to be careful what information you give him. He likes to talk a lot. That's all I'm going to say. I, I, Mr. Skinny would be the last person I would do some type of criminal activity with. Because he's going to tell. He's going to snitch just like he's about to snitch on himself right now and about to incriminate himself. In real life, though, you got people looking for you in the Atlanta streets. In, in real life, though, you got people looking for you in these Atlanta streets. Please tell us more, Mr. Skinny. Tell us. Tell us more what's going to happen to Kwame Brown. Real life, though. In real life, though, you don't really talk about the wrong person. 
So if Kwame is pillow talking, what are you doing? Restroom talking? Living room talking? Because you telling everybody, you telling the worldwide internet. If he's pillow talking, what do you, what do you classify what you're doing? In real life, though, you got some real street dudes. Since you always talking about in real life. You got some real street dudes. You got some real street dudes ready to take your life. So he just said that he got some DMs from some real street dudes that's ready to take Kwame Brown's life. Hey, street dudes. I wouldn't associate yourself with Mr. Skinny. He's telling your business on the internet. Ah, you might want to rethink about doing anything with Mr. Skinny because he's going to tell on you. Why did you mention Miss Deb? Salute my... I don't even know who Miss... I, I, I have no idea who that is. Why did you mention Miss Deb? Why did you and Angela Stanton King try to pull Charleston White into your stuff? I have no idea what you're talking about, so I don't, I don't, I have no idea. But, um, Atlanta Goons, that's contacting Mr. Skinny. You might want to rethink uh, communicating with Mr. Skinny. He likes to, um, he likes to snake and tell on people a lot. You might want to rethink uh, being associated with Mr. Skinny. I'm trying to figure out. Oh, I'm chilling. Because I'm glad that I'm no longer tired or affiliated with Kwame Brown. Why are you glad? Hey, hey, hey. Fair use. Fair use, Mr. Skinny. Don't try to flag me because it's not going to work. You already know that. Fair use. Because Kwame Brown, you about to get your snot box wrong. In real life, though. Real life though. Whoa. It sounds like you know what's about to go on. You said Kwame Brown is, is about to get his snap bot rocks in real life. Is this premeditated murder? Whoa, sounds like you already know what's going on. Is, is this premeditated? Mr. Skinny, what are you telling us that you're Conducting a hit on Kwame Brown? YouTube, do you hear this? That's crazy. Because Kwame Brown, you about to get your snot box wrong. In real life though. In real life though. And that sounds like threats to me. I don't be sitting back here. Ain't no need to talk about moving now, Kwame Brown. Now you want to move to Florida. Now you want to move to Texas. I bet. Now you want to move to Florida. Now you want to move to Texas. Mr. Mr. Skinny, it sounds like you're organizing a hit. How do you know that Kwame's going to get his snot bop rock? How do you know he's going to get his TV turned off? Why are you telling the internet that Atlanta Goons is looking for him? That's strange. Cause them down south Georgia boys about to peel your cap back, boy. Down south Georgia boys about to peel your cap back. You seem to know a lot of information. In real life, though. In real life, though. In real life, though. In real life, you about to get fucked up, though. <laughs> In real, hey, hey, hey. Those uh Georgia goons that Mr. Skinny is talking about. You might want to rethink doing anything with Mr. Skinny because he's going to tell the internet. <sighs> hey, Kevin Savage to style you. You talking about you the hell of a nigga. You the tough guy. Your brothers all this and that. But it's time for your brothers to prove it, nigga. It's time for your brothers to prove that they some hell of a niggas. Why is it time for them to prove that they a hell of a nigga? Why, Mr. Skinny? Tell us more. You round here pillow talking about a gangster. Pillow talking about a gangster. I don't. Hey, uh, gangsters, I don't I don't know who you are. 
So I don't I don't know what he's talking about. I have no idea. But he's the one that's providing this information. Gangsters. He he's the one that's providing this information to the world. Salute to Miss Dale. Oh golly. Skinny, are you snitching on Miss Deb? What are you? Miss Deb, I, 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 don't, I don't know who you are, but Skinny is telling your business. I don't even feel bad for you, nigga. I'm about to go and jump in this pool. I, I have multiple clips. Life, though, I don't have Atlanta goons looking for me, but in real life, though, you know who has Atlanta goons looking for him. But with that being said, uh, video after video after video. These, this is not just one video. These are multiple video clips that Mr. Skinny is telling the worldwide web that Atlanta Goon just looking for him. Sounds like he's a part of the plan. He might be the ringleader. Let's talk about no clients. You do know this is Easter weekend, right? Man, I done cut so much motherfucking hair. I can't wait, man, for them Atlanta boys to bust Kwame Brown's head, boy. I can't wait for them Atlanta boys to bust Kwame Brown's head. I'm going to be laughing because I know that nigga going to go live and say, Somebody rolled up on me today. I had to get into a little fight shit. It's crazy, Mr. Skinny. Yeah, motherfucker got a good one off on the bus, but I'm still here. <laughs> Things that people do for the internet. Things that people do for the internet. What's with me? I just don't be wanting my people to have to tune into that bullshit you be doing, Kwame Brown. He said that, said that, um, I'd be happy if his brains get blown out on the street. Damn right I'd be happy. He said he would be happy if Kwame Brown brains will be on the street. Mr. Skinny said he would be happy if Kwame Brown would, was to get shot in his head. He said he would be happy. Mm. I'll go a step further. Whoever do it, I'll pay their lawyer fees. <laughs> so whoever shoots Kwame Brown in the head, Mr. Skinny would be happy and he would pay your lawyer fees. Well, there you go. Uh, this is another episode of the world's dumbest criminals provided uh, provided by uh, Damn DPOV. Once again, uh, I think somebody should do some type of research on Mr. Skinny's criminal background to see if he might have you know, said something because he says a lot on the Internet for someone that has a criminal background as Mr. Skinny, for someone that has spent 11 years in jail. The way that he's talking so freely just makes me wonder, like, was he talking in jail the same way he's talking on the Internet? I don't know. I wonder if 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 y'all can look that up. I I don't know how to do that type of information. I don't I don't do people's background, but I'm just saying if y'all happen to find it and send it to me, you know, that would be nice. Very very interesting that Mr. Skinny is seems like he's involved in this interaction that may or may not happen. So once again, um, people that are with Mr. Skinny, people that condone Mr. Skinny's behavior, people that are friends with Mr. Skinny, you might want to reconsider knowing Mr. Skinny's background, the way that he snakes his friends. The way that he snakes his cousin of a busty buzz. The way that he provides information about alleged 
Hits? Sounds like he's organizing a hit. Um, you might want to reconsider your relationship with Mr. Skinny because he talks a lot. He talks a lot. So I just wanted to document this. Um, you know, just for references. Um, Mr. Skinny. You never seem to fail me. One thing I know about Mr. Skinny, he will snitch on himself. And he will talk his way into more mess than he needs to be in. So, just going to sit back and let Mr. Skinny talk and just reveal the information. Thank you, Mr. Snakey, uh, for the information that you provided to the World Wide Web. And, uh, yeah, there you have it. Mr. Skinny says that Atlanta goons, no, them down south Georgia boys, I quote, them down south Georgia boys are looking to peel your cap back, are looking to rock your snot bop. In real life, though, Kwame, Mr. Skinny said in real life, though, some people are looking for you. And some people are trying to do harm to you. So, you know. Be safe out there, Kwame. Um, and to the people that are associated with Mr. Skinny, you might want to rethink your relationship with Mr. Skinny because if y'all get caught, he might just snitch on you like he snitches on everybody else. It's your boy Damn DPOB. I'm signing out. Mm -mm. This is another episode of the world's dumbest criminals. <laughs> Easy to beat because you're stupid.